Today I'm going to demonstrate the way we test to find out if our glasses match. And by matching, I mean will they fuse without breaking. I've got a light box, two pieces of polarized film, and the first thing I'm going to show you is something that I made up for demonstration. I dropped it and broke it. It didn't break because of incompatibility. Now, I put three different little scraps of glass on this one piece. And if they are compatible, it means that I can fuse together the two pieces of glass. If they show not to be compatible, there's a very high risk of whatever I make from incompatible glass that's going to break. It may not break when it comes out of the kiln, but it may eventually break. Now, if you can look at this, you'll see a glow around two of the pieces and not around the third one. That means this glass is compatible with the plate. These two are not. So that glow shows me that there's stress between the two pieces of glass. Now, we've done a lot with bottles. Brown bottles, green bottles. So I have green on brown, brown on green, brown on brown, green on green. Now when we break bottles up to make ornaments, we have absolutely no control over getting two pieces from the same bottle. So we mix them up and wonder whether they'll work or not. This is a compatibility test again. You don't see that sharp glow that we saw in the others. And that means this time I'm going to try some mixing blue and green. A second thing I want to show you is an actual piece that I was going to do a bowl, but I was concerned about compatibility. So I got it off the rack, cleaned it up, and put it on the light table. And you don't see that sharp glow. Now, that is amazing to me that the manufacturer of these bottles has such consistent quality. So I'm going to try this slumped into a bowl because it says to me that if there is incompatibility, we might can overcome it. So it's worth a try.